nominate Will um, Hogan to sit on the board. His letter is in the packet. Uh, Will Hogan uh, is an elected member of the Board of Directors of the Seniors Council. He sits on the Cabrillo College Student Senate. And for a year and a half, he's been a member of the Metro Users Group that um, is an advisory body appo uh, appointed by the Board of Directors of the Metropolitan Transit District. Right. So this is in our packet. Did, did people get a chance to read through this? And so, yeah. So I don't know. If, I'm just trying to shorten it up a little. So I don't know if we need to go through everybody. So are everyone aware of who he's nominating? Mm -hmm. So let's 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 think. Uh, let's I would go. just like to say that we. Spoken. I don't want you to cut me short since I've waited three months on this. So just give me some slack know, but, here. But I'm just what I'm trying to say is we've read it. We know who you're talking about, so we're ready okay. to vote on it. Well, he has to get a second for nomination. Right. So I mean, we're ready to really, Charlie. I, I looked through it, so I'm just saying if we're ready to move forward, let's move forward. Okay. Uh, what I want to say is that we've spoken many times of outreach. This is a candidate, you know, outreach to the seniors, outreach to students at Cabrillo. Uh, whatever one may, uh, I think it's uh, faced with the fact that we have not received a lot of submissions. I totally. So anyway, that's my nomination. Thank Will you. Hogan. Is there a second? This is there a second. Let me, uh, can I have to go out and second? Can I say something? Or do I have to, do I have to be a second to talk about the nomination? I think, you have to I think there has to be a second, a second to, to discuss, discuss it. it. I'll second it. Okay. Go ahead. So second, yeah. I ran. I was going to second. Just to get this to talk, the, <coughs> we had, we sit at I think at a, at a unique point here. I mentioned this to you earlier. You know, to really consider, because you know we're down to a very small board, and we really ought to think about uh, spending a, a a massive effort in getting some. You know, these guys are nice and they're good people. I met them, you know, but uh, are they with our objectives and things that we want to do? What we need to make this board grow faster and better? I don't know. Is there some other way, that, some other process? When we first did this, at the, the board was first set up. There was a massive process for everybody to come in and get interviewed and apply, and then we, we we outreached to various different nonprofits and organizations to look for people that, and people were approached. It's like, would you come in? And we wanted to, you know, put an application in, and we really haven't done that. Charlie's done more than any of us. I mean, I, I I'm more at fault than anybody else. I probably should have done that too, but. We should, I think we need to look at it. Uh, we have a chance to make, make, a, make a difference in our organization. I hate to put it off any longer. Um, no, no, even if, even if we do appoint these, and uh, so you're, <coughs> my judgment, it, my human judgment is these would be good candidates for the board. They're good people. They would serve the board well. They're consistent. They're reliable, etc. Now, this is one nomination. My point is, is that if I'm wrong, their term expires in October because they're elected seats. Even if we appoint them now, they can only serve until October. If we wait till March, till April, till do both these seats, both these seats uh, uh, go at the same time? Or yes, they're both they both expire and, and uh, yeah, both both the elected seats are, uh, go at the same time this time that, that we're replacing. Are you are we sure of that? But I know it's a It's on the board and lost in the first page. The two vacancies. One says 1997, another says 1996. <laughs> that doesn't make any that's, sense. That's that's the uh, two. We got a motion on the floor. Okay, so so are we ready to vote on it? All those in favor of nominating Will? I'm sorry, the last name. Will Hogan. Will Hogan. Say aye. Aye. Oppose. Aye. No. Aye. This time. Okay. Um, I have another nomination. Wait, it was, wait, so we have one, 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 no, I don't know. Was there a second? Yeah. I'll second it so you can. Thank you. No. Um, the reason why I'm nominating Joan is essentially she's a good person. She has the experience. Uh, she's a business person in the community. She serves on uh, 
a board in the community. She, I believe, has served on the Central Committee of the Republican Party. Uh, not that I, I think the, my progressive credentials speak for themselves, but I'm not looking at this as a progressive or as a, as a partisan, but the fact is conservatives. Uh, okay, that's what I was, that was, okay, I'm sorry, go uh, ahead. Joan, by the way, um, has attended a number, recently a number of international conferences, the Gorbachev Conference in San Francisco. She went to Rome to attend the Hunger Conference and she may be going to Rio de Janeiro to attend the Environmental Conference. So she's very active in, in, in these uh, international. So I think she would be a uh, constructive, considering the political philosophy, a constructive person on the board. And if I'm wrong about that again, uh, her time will be she, she mentioned when we talked to her about a conflict of time, was that, wasn't she the one who mentioned that? She, she had a conflict, did she check no, out? No, 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 there, Patricia Sullivan was that it? is well, the know. person who actually talking to her. Had, I'm seeing a $3,600 figure, which is a lot more. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. Yeah. 3,600. Yeah, that's the bottom. That's what I was saying, is an $800 difference. Oh, okay. See, I was looking at January 14th, and there's the second page is February 11th. Okay, I take uh -huh. that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think we're doing okay. Okay. All right. So, um, moving on to number 21, the report of the treasurer. Well, we have no treasurer, and that concerns me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I don't know if we can also elect a treasurer or recommend a treasurer at this point. I know it's not. I'm mean, not sure we elected a chair, but. So can we put that on the next agenda? Yeah, sure, sure, on the next agenda. Okay, why don't we do that on the next agenda? Put it on the next agenda, please. And let's we'll ask somebody who's before we do that, because the right. treasurer needs to know something. Right. Yeah. yeah. It was Luther, correct? Well, yeah. actually, it, it was, was Luther. Nancy. Then Luther became chair. He appointed Nancy. Nancy mm -hmm. never accepted, but then Nancy resigned. Right. Okay. Yes. okay. So that's why we want to talk to him first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 But we do need a note. We do absolutely need a signer for the checks, because right now we only have one signer uh, at Quai. And um, we, we should certainly have you as a signer, John. So yeah. be sure before you leave tonight, if you can, yeah, you maybe it. get paperwork from Helen. Yeah, she's got, that. The next one is correspondence. Um, just in recognition of the letters from Will Hogan, Joan Carroll, and Richard Griswold. Um, uh, we should send them a letter so we're acknowledging that we got the, the thing and that, you know, I don't think that they're out at this point. I think yeah. we, we just need to... Need more time. We need, need more, more time. time. And, uh, you know, something like that. Okay. Well, you, yeah, we'll, you we'll send letters to the so three applicants. Oh, they're still under consideration. Okay. Just, just, you know. <coughs> okay. Okay. Uh, item number 23, announcements. I have two announcements. Uh, first, I'm withdrawing from all committee participation on the board. I consider the board to be a hostile group of people and uh, inhospitable. So I'm no longer serving on the nominating committee. Uh, second, I just want to respond to Bruce, the member of the audience. The uh, board member has the right, according to the bylaws, of proposing candidates for the board when the six and five months have gone when the board members have not been se seated. So. Um, you might have thought it'd be an inappropriate thing. It's my right, my duty to make those uh, nominations from the board meeting when the nominating committee has not met for a variety of meeting uh, reasons, which ought to be looked into. Thank you. Thanks, Chairman. Move. Eight o'clock. Move to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Just call it. Someplace adjourned. I guess. We're adjourned. Oh, yeah. Um, we do. She was elected. Okay. She did make say she would try to she would make the board meeting. So she, you know, I think she, she mentioned that. But. Yeah. Okay. So we're ready to vote on this. Put this on the table here. All those um, in favor of. Uh, Nominating Joan, I'm sorry, your last name? Peros. Peros? That's right. Peros. Say aye. Aye. I'll go aye. Opposed? Aye. I'm opposed. And since we're supportive of two to two, it, it dies? Don't know. Yeah. Uh, I assume it does. I have a statement to make. 
mm -hmm. uh, if I may make it now rather than wait until the announcements. This was a matter of great principle for me, and it is clear uh, I would like the clerk, Madam Clerk, to note that I say this. The vote on uh, these candidates was a matter of great principle to me, and I'm extremely and seriously disappointed with the board for voting against them. A vote against them is essentially a vote against me. That was my interpretation of this vote. I therefore conclude that I cannot work with this board, uh, that there's no basis for any future cooperation. I will, of course, continue to come because I'm elected. It is my duty to come here. Um, however, I'm going to send a press release out to all of the newspapers in the area uh, announcing to the press this vote, and I intend to ask for an investigation of the board to look at the absences, to look at the times when the board meetings were not posted, omissions, et cetera, et cetera. I'm extremely disappointed by this vote, and I think that we really have to have some community action because this was a uh, unkind vote. Thank you. And, I, and I, I must say, Charlie, that I don't think that I was voting against you. I, I certainly, yeah. I certainly uh, have sat here and listened to, some of this, listened to what you've had to say, and I am sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm really it's not sorry. open right now. Yes. I know that, that no one called for public comment at the beginning of this. Uh, I, 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 I did. did. I oh, did, because okay. Richard talked. I did. Oh, OK. But, because he said his thing wasn't in the packet, and it was. Uh, Sorry. But you know why? Because I'm trying to move the meeting along. May, may, I ask, may I ask one thing, though? Sure. We, um, the vote was two. If it's the case that the nominating committee was not able to do its function, then it's inappropriate, I think, for people to be nominated to be voted on, given that the fail-safe fail has been superseded, now the board is ignorant, and the nominating committee hasn't done its job so that the board can trust that decision. So I think this was an inappropriate vote to have been suggested in the first place, and I wish that I'd been quicker on the ball okay. before you made a little I didn't want to do it. I didn't, I didn't care to do it either, but yeah, we did it, and it really we're moving on. Bad. Yeah, I Number think that's 14. a flaw in the structure. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thank, you. Thank Sorry. you, Bruce. Um, to consider the appeal of suspension of P Patrick Lancelin, um, I got something to say about that. <laughs> okay. Um, Thank you. We needed that. <laughs> okay. Um, I move since he left. We just move on. Yeah. Um, well, I think uh, the, we have to. the thing is, is that um, we need to. He's 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 asking for. Where he's asking us to consider an appeal, and we need to vote on whether or not we're going to consider that appeal. So. Um, so his appeal would be that he would um, he would talk with us here at face to face. No, basically, I believe the appeal would mean that it would be we wouldn't he wouldn't be suspended. He would get to come back. Okay. So um, that's my understanding of it. Mm -hmm. So um, a motion. I move we deny his appeal. I've heard Patrick before. Second, second that. Sure. Raymond, second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Any comment? Sorry, I forgot the comment part. <laughs> I was the staff person involved, but I don't need to comment if it's not Okay, hard. great. Thank you. Number 15, consider recommendation of Vice Chair Lamb to replace cable casting of board meetings with live call and discussion of agenda Sunday evening previous to meeting. And that is uh, in our, included in our packet, a note from Kwai. Um, and um, it, would anyone like to make a motion? I don't believe our board meetings are very exciting most of the time. <laughs> yeah. I like to know if people are calling in or people want to want to be people involved. Are calling. You know, my well, I, 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 did you read what it said? What it would be? It would, it would be prior to the, uh, right. right to the board right. meeting. Right, right, right. So you're saying you don't think anyone will even take interest? I, no, 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 I said I don't know. Oh, you don't know. Okay. Is it the intention of this proposal to prioritize a particular independent producer by allowing the agenda of the board meeting to come on that producer's program? I haven't thought of that. A set of expectations. I think if you don't lay out what kind of the expectations are, everybody kind of comes to the table with different ideas about what their job is. Well, let me sure. ask this. Sorry. Go ahead. Um, have you ever interviewed any of the old members of the board, people that have sat on the board, to find out what their preconceived notion of sitting on the board was and, and what their notion of being on the board was and, and why they resigned? What, no, I didn't. <coughs>